Good morning, everyone. Today is session number 20. Yes, we've got there. Love your work. Take yourself a seat. Let's get on with it. All right, let's get our legs moving. I'm so pumped. Sorry, I'm getting other cuts in there. I'm super excited. So excited to get to session number 20, but I think what I'm truly excited about, if I'm very honest, the fact that winter's over, but <laughs> wow, when you guys are uh, watching this, it will be Wednesday, today's Monday, so it's the last day of winter, and I'm done. I've had it. We've done the cold. Done enough of it. Let's move on to spring, yeah? Having a look at our ornamental grape vine, all the little buds are starting to jump out, and oh, it's looking great. Uh, it reminds me of, I can see over in the corner there, we've got some sea salt, it reminds me I need to top that up and <laughs> get that all going. And it makes me want to get like all my hoses in place, and uh, Good, fun, exciting stuff. Cross that leg up, get into a glute stretch. Ah, work it in. So we're gonna add some dumbbells in today's session. We're also gonna add a little bit of balance and stability work there. So a bit of upper body strength and some balance stability. So if you've got your dumbbells and stuff handy or whatever weights you've got available for you, whether that is canned goods or some actual handheld weights, just get them ready for today's session, that'll be good. Um, yeah, we've got a, a Japanese maple in the back there that's just starting to grow all its leaves and stuff, so that looks good. And I wonder if um, wonder if anyone's done what we've done. We have never actually, since we've moved into the home, we have never trimmed back that Japanese maple. It is just, it just grows where it was. We've just let it go on absolute wild. It's, it's pretty out of control, to be honest. So Jonah legs, and because the ornamental grapevine grows around it, I just have to every now and again, like go up there and try to pull the ornamental grapevine away from it and make it go in a different direction. It is just, there's a lot going on there. I might even, um, uh, I might even ask Darren, I'm going to take a few photos of the backyard there and I can show you guys there so you can sort of see what it is when I, when I talk about it, but um, yeah, lots of fun, lots of fun. It'll be good to see sort of how it all goes through this year. Okay, go for a quad stretch and we've got so much other. Uh, we've got the jasmine, yeah, a lot of jasmine uh, vines sort of at the front of our house growing up a like a little fence line area there and we just weave it all through there so there's about I think eight or nine of them there so there's quite a fair few so we've got to put in sort of last year towards the end of some time so they had a little bit of growth and they look good after a little bit of growth and stuff so we're excited that this year should really kick into another year and then you know maybe three more years down the track three four years down the track will be a nice full bush and now it's going to look really good oh good to turn these legs sweep it over the sides I hope everyone else's garden's looking nice. Tend into it. It's a good excuse, gets us <coughs> gets us out the front or in the back of the house and it's just nice. I don't know for both of my normals they're enjoying. I was speaking to them a couple of days ago, just getting out into the backyard and just doing a little bit of gardening and yeah, just trying to get a bit of sun on them and just feeling nice about sort of moving around and having something to do. And, yeah, all good things. Absolutely all good things. Alright, yes. But I am a little bit sad that I haven't gone over, obviously I haven't been able to see it, but you know, at least get some of my Nunda's basil and stuff. We always we always put all of her basil into the pasta sauces, which is nice. So growing some extra herbs. I think what we really need to do is grow our own herbs. I think I'm getting a little bit lazy there. It's just so much easier to go, hey Nunda, you got some basil, and she just literally goes in the garden, rips each of it out for us. Yeah, might think it a little bit uh, <laughs> more productive on that one. Give, give those hammies a good stretch, switch over sides. It's still a little bit chilly this morning, it's Monday morning at the moment, so yeah, like I said, 31st. But you guys will be watching this in the new season. It should be lovely. Alright, good hamstring stretch. Move the hips around if you need. Good stretch, please. Moving forward, give it a good stretch. And yeah, really pleased that um, I'm, I'm loving some extra comments, um, even if I don't get to them on the specific day. Um, so I'm generally logging off sort of like 10.05, 10.10. Uh, depends on what everything else I'm needing to do for the day, but um, yeah, I'm trying to get to any comments on a later stage there. So if anyone has anything there, I'll just try to jump back onto it and read over it. But yeah, loving that people are enjoying with the dumbbell work and um, yeah, appreciate a little bit of extra back work. I'm absolutely fine. Please, if you have anything, just post it up there. I can only adapt to whatever people are asking. Otherwise, I'll sort of go on my little tangent. We'll have a little bit about the body, a little bit of this, a bit of that. But if there's things in specific that people would like, treble legs, please ask. It's my job. Adapt, adapt to whatever's happening. Make it all work. Just loosen the hips up. Lean it forward. Get the calves really nice with stretch. And it's out over the top. Nice out the top. And I've chosen to have the red tea for tonight. Well, for tonight, for today. During our session. I actually always forget the name of it. It starts with R, the actual product that's in it. 
like a rubus, I think, something like that. All I know is it's called the red teeth, or you can call it the red teeth, it's another name for it. It tastes good, I'm a fan. Alright, excellent. Do you want a quick drink? This is a great time for it. Right. Oh, yes. Get everything moving, feeling good. Alright. Let's begin. So we're going to start off with actually, chair up to the side. We're going to start with some light stuff. Let's just really light, let's just get everything moving. Maybe we'll check the hands out, get everyone moving. The key is we just want to get a bit of impact. So we're going to start with some balance, some strength, more balance. I point over there because that's my bench with all my equipment and stuff onto it. I know, like I said, you can't, it's a, yeah, got to remember that you can't set the bench there, but it's there, I promise. I'll give you a little bit of a rotation so you can see it actually. So I promise. Hey. There you go, and the cup of tea. That's always good. <laughs> All right, keep going, some stuff in. Get in that and move in nicely. Good, if you want to, get them up just a little bit higher. There you go. Good stuff. Good, and if we can get those arms moving now. So now see arms swinging. Good, if you feel comfortable getting those knees up a little bit higher, you go for it, right? Still notice I'm quite light on my foot. Striking the floor there, I'm not really hitting it down hard. Nothing like just get it all moving. There we go. Good. Now think smaller but a little bit firmer. So I'm just going for a little bit of a stomp movement. That's it then. Those knees are slightly bent, so for a little bit of stomp. You make it as hard as you want then. This is about you adding the intensity you want in there. Good work with that stomp. I'm realizing I'm creeping in a bit closer and cutting out my feet, but I have to just creep a bit further back. It's like a bit of a dance move. Two, one, excellent. Grab that chair out. Let's get some leg swinging, make sure you've got some room. You're doing this, you're not kicking anything. Stand on one leg, get that leg swing going. Good, it feels nice to loosen up the hips. Get it all swinging and moving. There we go. Two, one, switch over legs. <laughs> you can throw the chair out like, do it, just move to the other side of the chair. Whatever works for you, team. God, yes, nice swing of the legs. Feels good to get it all moving. Two, one, to the side. Get out to the side. So notice how I'm trying to keep my body relatively up one. That's it, just keep that leg at the side, versus being sort of hunched over. You want to try to keep yourself as upright as possible. Switch so over legs. Last one here, then we'll just do a little bit of ankle rotation, we'll get straight into it. And this is a little bit of extra premium. Really important to make sure everything's moving quite nicely before we get into some of the balance work. Two, one, excellent. Take your step, step. And one of my favourite ones here, really simple. Step both legs, just ankle rotations. Just feels nice to get all that movement. Sometimes, especially early morning, if you haven't moved around much, it can feel a little bit tight and stiff and sometimes doing some balance work when the ankle's just not feeling right. It's, so the ideal thing there. So just simple ankle rotations, blood gets flowed down into it there, and you know, sometimes a little bit of a flop around with it there. I like circle movements. All this stuff is great. We also get a little bit of warming up for our quadricep here, having to keep our legs nice and straight. Okay, let's get into this. If you need a quick sip, you're definitely welcome to. Otherwise, let's go for it. So, you stay there. Uh, no, we might touch the dumbbells yet, sorry. Get a little bit lost of thought here. Okay. <laughs> what I'm looking for is a bit of a stomp here. Left leg slightly bent, right leg just stomping down. Good. Now the other side. That's what I'm doing there. Single leg stomp. Good. Now slow that pace of stomping down. So what you're doing here is you're having to balance on the other leg. If you need to hold on, you can. The key is trying to keep your hips as centered as possible. So if you rotate off here, you're going to notice your twist. And then if you do the opposite, you get a notion of fall over. So you want to keep centered, slight bend in that leg, stomp it in, good. Good, slow the pace down. Good, yeah. It's, you notice it's about how good you are at this thing. You can sometimes feel like one time you're doing really well, the other time you might feel like you're losing your balance there. That's an example of it now. Good, opposite leg, take your time. Hit that stomp, hold on if you need to. Good, and slow it down. Good. 
you'll notice too. Yeah, there you go, bit of a shake there. My right hip's nowhere near as good as the left hip as it is a balancing. So left hip definitely has much better ankle mobility as well as hip. I have to think much more about it on my right hand side. One more. Yeah. Get some movement. Okay, so take your movements. Hold on to the chair if you need to. Firm grip, easy. Light little touches, could be one finger or, or pincer grips, or no grip. Try to keep your body as upright as possible. So we don't want to be leaning. Try to get that body upright as possible. Circular movements, you're going to get your hip working. Also, the opposite one there is having a really work hard to stabilize. It's called glute knee, that's the major muscle group. And notice if you do it faster, that makes it much, much harder. So just notice you can increase the speed, the circle circumference. Oop. The closer it is towards your body, the easier, the out, the harder, all right? Notice I'm leaning here, I need to be here. So much harder to work with. Switch over to like, Really good to play around with this. And if you're doing this video a couple of times and what's made me really happy, again, work with your hand positions. What's made me really happy is people have said that they've been doing this a couple of times. That's awesome, means you can evolve it. I want to show you how you can make things a bit harder and you can challenge yourself with it. It's really what it's all about. Small little ones, keep it close, hips over the top. Legs out a little bit further. Again, try not to lean. I'm not doing a great job here of remembering all my touching cues. There we go. Yep. And yes, the other, the other little one too as well, is hands out by your side, you'll actually notice that you're holding a bit more stability. Can you tell? Big difference here. I'm nowhere near as balanced on this right hip as what I am on my left, and that is the key. We want to play around with them. We want both sides doing their job evenly. Two, one. Woo! Oh yeah, take it. Take that. So double leg calf raise, push off your toes. Good, really nice and simple. If you've got dumbbells, and this is what I was about to get you to do the first time, but I want to build to it. You can add dumbbells. You can add dumbbells and curls. You take the pick. So it's either no dumbbells, add in the dumbbells, or dumbbells and curls. And we're always calf raising, so I'll show that from behind here. Good. And sure enough, if that's getting a little bit tough, you've always got holding on to it as you execute that calf raise. If you push off the chair, so if I push off the chair to create that calf raise, I'm really using my arms to do all that. We just want to be able to push off our toes, lock out our legs, push off our toes, work in our calf. Keep going for me, team. Good, pick that intensity that's appropriate for you. Excellent. Good, strong push off toes. Working it hard. Give me 10. Good work. Five more to go. It's only if I count them properly, which let's be totally honest. I don't always count. Well, we've got four more now, maybe three, two to go. <laughs> One more. Ah, see, not so bad. Yeah, not the greatest count, but that's all right. These things happen. So our next one here is just notice that I'm rotating my foot inwards. So I want to sit upright, grab my leg, and I want to turn this hip and rotate it inwards. So one leg is facing inwards, one is still facing straight. It looks a bit weird. If you want to just have a bit of a go, you can just play with that movement. It's going to feel a little bit different in your hips, that's the key. We're trying to crank, we call it cranking, or internal rotation is a technical word. Us in the, <laughs> in the strength and conditioning community as coaches, just crank that leg inwards. <laughs> we keep it simple. So, crank the leg inwards, nice and straight, see if you can kick your leg out to the side. It's going to feel real different. Especially when that hips, try to keep your health as upright as possible. Good, and you can definitely alternate between this. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate it like this. I suggest if you're doing the exercise to do it like this, but I just want to demonstrate it so you can see. Create hip woods, and then, and this would be alternated between it. No, you should take your time, crank inwards, kick your leg out to the side. Good, it's pretty tough. You notice that you can't actually lift your leg up too high. It's pretty hard to do. But that's why we want to practice. You can also, if you didn't want to rotate your leg in once, you can just kick them out to the side. So that is much, much easier to be able to do it without having that internal rotation using different muscle groups. We should all be feeling different muscle groups around our hip. You may even be noticing a little bit through your lower back, and that's really important because our lower back should be moving and helping and assisting that glute meat when it comes to kicking our legs out to the side. Yes. All right, check it out there. One of, the, one of my favorite ones is just a bit of hip rotation. So that's what it stands. Rotate the hips around. 
Get a more twisted and turning. We do one more little balance exercise. Oh yeah. Move it around. Good, that's it. Good shake it out there. Alright, so our next one here is our ability to stay on one leg. So lift the leg up just a little bit. Let's move that to this to the side. Right toes touching the floor. Right toes touching the floor, left foot flat. So left is our balancing leg, right foot turn the floor. Super simple. We want to progress it. We get it just elevated a little bit off. I can hold on, I can take my hands off. The higher that leg raises, I'm making that harder. Good. I've got options of keep my hands nice and close. I sort of prefer hands out just in case I need to grab onto something, so not in your pockets. Or you can pop your hands out to your side. You get to play with that. Then from here, if you're feeling comfortable, I like a little bit of a swing. Just take your time. Notice it's slow, controlled. Again, my left hip, my stronger hip. I feel very, very stable, feeling strong and controlled. Everything's locked in. I'm sitting at the top, slight bend knees. Just swinging that leg. Lovely. Try it on the other one. Whew. Got to think a little harder. Slight drop of legs. Again, work on that level. Keep your toe down. Hold on. Release. All those different things, all those different ways of playing with it. If you feel comfortable, work with a bit of a swing. Take your time. Notice it's a slow, controlled movement. It's a little bit different. You can drive your knee up. As low or as high as you want. So you might be able to just have a small little swing. That's cool. If you feel comfortable, drive it up high. Try on the back. Go for it. Oop. Stay in there. There we go. <laughs> Alright, 15 more seconds. Take your time. And again, yeah, you may find that this just helps and gives you a little bit of extra stability. You may notice underneath your feet having to work really hard. So you may just know sometimes you just want to shake it out there and get back into it. That's all cool. Key is just trying to sit with it for a duration. Have a little rest whenever you need. Good, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Yes, team! All right, grab yourself a drink. Woo, check those legs out. All right, red tea for me. Nice. Oh, smells good. It's probably actually a bit too hot, to be honest. I might be drinking it on my next break. I've got to pour it. First off, that is okay. All right, shake it all out. We're going to be working with some dumbbells, a lot of upper body work, so the legs should be feeling nice and fresh. And then just a little bit of sort of stomping, we'll get it added all together, a little bit of balance and stability with the dumbbells. All right, we're ready. Of course we are. All right, taking ourselves to seats. Good. Hand grip curls. Good, some people remember as thumbs up grip. Whatever helps you remember hand grip curls, make sure we're missing the chi. You do not want to be hitting your hands against that chair. Again, if you didn't have any equipment, you can use with your own hands. And so if you're using with just your own hands, individuals or doubles, but I'd suggest a little bit of extra space. But if you feel comfortable, otherwise whatever you've got around with you, work with a team. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good. Chicken wings. Got a lateral raise, but chicken wings is a nice way of thinking about it there. Just getting that elbow, the jam out to the side. Good, hands by your side, get that elbow up. Good, my suggestion is to keep your head nice and straight. As you fire up your trap muscle groups, which is these guys up here, so you got your shoulder and your trapeze and that runs up to your neck. You just want, if you're going to have to fire them, you just want your head facing straight ahead, which means less neck tension, and that's always a good thing. If we want to support those muscle groups and their growth and getting stronger, we don't want to put them under too much extra load if they're not required to be under that load. There we go. All right. Four. Three. Makes those shoulders heavy, but that's okay. Two. <laughs> One more. Excellent. Bit of floor up work. Let it roll down. Curl it up over your fingers. Do control it too as well. We don't want to fall it out of your fingers and struggling in the toes. Nobody having fun with that. Taking your time. You might want to have your feet out of the way. Just in case, as you can see, just in case it does fall out, it doesn't hit those toes. Good. Take your time. Curl it up. Good. Roll it down your fingers. Curl it up. Internal external. So notice we're keeping it up here instead of always on our thighs. We're going to keep it up through here there. You're going to notice a little bit of extra forearm work. So I just rotate myself to the side. That's what I'm doing. Go as slow as fast as you want. I generally go sort of like a medium pace there. I'm going to try to really move it as fast as I can just to get my forearms working. 
Good, and then the hardest one, knuckles up. You may find this really tough depending on what weight you've got. I've got three kilo weights here, and this is pretty tough just with, with three kilo weight. So it really depends on how strong those forearms have got. The heel a bit fatigued, that's pretty standard. Have yourself a bit of a rest. Two, one, whoo! Shaking the hands. Oh yeah, just getting them all working. <laughs> that feels nice. Okay, bent over rows, so just leaning forward on our chairs. Pull it up behind us, like we're elbowing someone behind us there. I'm gonna show you that. Finally, <laughs> you keep going team, I'm just showing you from a different angle. Good, nice and tall, leaning forward, squeezing my bum. Notice I've still got my body upright. Leaning forward so I'm not slumping forward, I'm still upright. Elbow, pulling back behind me. Good, the more I come over the top, the harder I make that for my back muscle groups. I can control that intensity. Good team, we got this. Session number 20, how exciting is that? 20 weeks of training, super cool. Good, I'll work back, we got this. All right, four, three, two, one more. Excellent, let's do a shoulder press. Let's alternate, why not? Sitting back against my chair, so my bum and back's at the end of the chair. Lifting one arm up, bringing it down. Lift the other arm up, Bring it down. Now, there's a harder variation. If you'd like to give it a bit of a go, come join me. Press both up and only bring one down. So one is always above your head as you're alternating. It is gonna make it a little bit tougher. Depends on how bit of weight it is you got that you're working with. God, my suggestion is still squeeze through your glute. Keep your hips nice and steady. Taking your time, bringing your shoulders down. You need to have a bit of a rest, have a rest. You may wanna go back to this particular alternation. It's whatever's right for you, T. Stick with me, see if you can give me another 15 seconds. This is tough. A lot of upper body work, but we do it because we can, T. You can have a rest and pause at any stage. That's what makes it work. Two, one, and rest. Oh, oh shake it up and rotate it around. Actually, in fact, let's do it. Let's do some shoulder rolls. Good, you can do it with the weight as well. Again, this is a really good one. I'm just going to bring it to the side, have my head straight. Really good one there, but the key is again, keeping that head position nice and straight. Head around, just shoulder rolls, so shoulder roll on that forward. Shoulder roll backwards. Good, this is a little bit tough, so you may notice a little bit of extra neck tension. And so we'll talk a little bit about in that rest period, just stretch out that neck. Good, one more. Oh, that makes it nice and tough. Okay, take this out of seat. Good, pop those dumbbells onto your feet. Let's get some leg lifts here. Good, just shake it all out. Good, sometimes I find too as well, they're just adding on to what we previously just did then with our traps. Sometimes I find giving it a little bit of a massage so I can use my left hand and I just get in over the top and cup it. That sort of feels quite nice. If you've got someone else to do it for you, hey, just ask them, come on. Let's get on there, I'll give you a massage, you give me one, everyone's happy. It's always good. And you're just working a little bit the opposite side. Feels really quite nice. Just have a bit of a play around. I sort of like that feeling of yeah, pushing down and sort of just giving it a little bit of a loosen up. It's always nice. Let's see if we can lift these up a little bit higher. A little bit tough sometimes to make sure they're staying in the middle. Go and get a good lift. All right. Pop them aside. Let's see if we can lift up both legs. All right, so I'm going to the side. Hands up to the chair, lifting legs up. See if I can keep my chest upright. If I want to make it a bit harder, remove my hands. See if I can keep them here. Go ahead and get a little creative. I can create like a little bit of a bicycle movement. This makes it much, much harder. So it's really good. Just play with different things. Hold on. Leave your legs on the floor, holding this position. Nice and easy. Lifting both legs up, a little bit harder. Moving your hands harder again, and the bicycle is very much harder. <laughs> you get to play with that intensity team. Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Last strong minute, dumbbells, lateral work. So what we're looking for is, uh, oh, sorry, that movement, there we go. So what happens is my left knee comes up, my right hand comes up. Right knee, left hand. So it's stepping laterally, curling. So this is another way to think about it. Thinking about bringing your knee 
to that dumbbell that you've got elevated up. Let's take your time. Good. Let's go for it. Let's do 45 seconds from here. This one's gonna get your heart rate up, team. Take your time. Obviously, keep it up lower. Much easier. Bring them up higher and taking wider and bigger steps. You get to play with the team. This is what this is all about. You work with your individual variations and how hard you want to make this session. <sighs> Stay with me, 20 seconds. It always goes a little longer. Sometimes I ask for 40 seconds, it turns into 50. These things happen. <laughs> we would like to say that my eyesight probably needs a bit of a check, but in COVID, I'm not going anywhere. So, gonna have to deal with the team. <laughs> 10 seconds, keep it coming. <sighs> Stay with me. Stay with me. <sighs> Four, three, it's only 10 seconds, I promise. Two, one. Oh yeah. <sighs> well done. Notice your heart rate's up a bit? Yes. Well, except for I've got my tea. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Oh, I'm definitely a fan of this red tea. Nice work. So before we get into all the stretching, just to give that neck a real good stretch, so just relax in that shoulder. You can slightly give it a pull across and just light little tug. So you just you're not trying to crank it, you're just giving it a light little pull aside, it just feels a nice little stretch up through here. The key is about dropping and relaxing the shoulder of the trap that you're stretching. So I'm pulling this way, it's my left shoulder, left trap. I think it's a really good stretch. Then I can just sort of pull the chin away and feel it. I get all shoulder and trap things really slowly easing into it. Switch over legs, oh, sorry, switch over sides. Shoulders nice and relaxed, and that's just by grabbing onto this there and sort of sitting upright, just pulls my shoulder down a little bit, feels nice. Just a nice, light, gentle, pull some tension. Just get a good stretch there, that's lovely. You might just want to breathe this out through it. Rotate open up, that just feels really nice pulling up through here. It's a lovely stretch. You can even pull down in your head, different little points, and chin up and pull through the side. Ah, uh, feels quite nice. Good, some short rotations. You may even want to do just some nice little gentle neck rolls. My suggestion is always do it nice and slow. Just because we did extra shoulder press and that type of movement there, it's really nice to be able to really set up. Please don't hesitate even when we finish training to do that again if that's what felt really good. You can never really go too wrong with just tending to and stretching out those neck areas when you do a good trade. So that's awesome. Let's move ourselves onto our glute stretch. Oh, hello, little Lulu. Look, we have a little guest here. <laughs> hey, you want to come up? You want to come up? Come on. Yeah, up you come. There we go. Just want to miss out on the party. <laughs> what are you doing, hey? Your sister just filling upstairs, so we've got Edie up there, the chocolate toy poodle, and this is, yeah, this more adventurous one. She wants to uh, join in the little party. Hey? Yeah, good girl. It's probably, uh, it's not far from lunchtime, <laughs> so they're going to want some lunch very soon. Alright, that was a very poor glute stretch, I'll be doing some more of that later. Absolutely, yeah, you're wandering around the little, you do your thing. Uh, for all those um, at home there watching this, Lulu is she's getting pretty close to four years old, I believe. Um, please don't quote me on her birthday, I know it's coming up. <laughs> it can't be too far. But um, yeah, she'll be getting pretty close to four years. Um, yeah. Very uh, energetic. Red rocket, we shall call her. She's, uh, <laughs> she's just rolling around at the moment, but uh, yeah, lots of energy. Definitely definitely puts a smile on Amy and I's uh, face, that's for sure. So we're going to jump away, it's good to have some Good, and then we'll make sure we get into a good quad stretch too. I won't forget those quads. Ah, I'll see you over there. <laughs> Just wandering around. Uh, makes me smile. So what it's all about. Hey team, great work. Session number 22, that is awesome. 20 weeks of training. You know, congratulations if you've hung around for all 20 weeks and gone ahead and done that plus extras. That's wonderful. Uh, hopefully that you'll see that the sessions are just developing, getting a little bit tougher. Also acknowledging that it's 
it's just building. Each session just builds upon the next there and, and your fitness develops and builds upon the previous one that you've done. It's really about conditioning um, and, you know, for a lack of a better word, just repetition. It just comes the ability to continually apply. Good, quad stretch. Let's get up there. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, she makes me laugh. She sometimes likes a good scratch on her face there. We've got some carpet just down here on the side there. Yeah, she's... Come on. What are you doing? You gonna roll around? You gonna say hello? No. Look, she freezes now that she's got a camera. This little ball over there in the corner. Yeah, <laughs> she's a crack up. She is gone with it. Hey? Alright, quad stretch. <laughs> you make up your overalls a little bit. That's good. I got nothing wrong with that. Um, and yeah, I, I believe many of you have your um, you know, animals and dogs at home. Oh yeah, she'll come through there, that's fine. Let's <laughs> give that quad. Sorry, we've got a bit of a different angle here. Stretch at the end. Get that quad a good stretch. Get go those calf stretches. Ah, you know, good Lulu. <laughs> um, and yeah, just how, how wonderful animals are and you know, time. When we're all staying home a little bit more, we're going to have a bit of fun, you know, tending to. We've got some fish in the backyard, you know, sitting in the fish and just tending to their tank a little bit more and, you know, talking to them and, yeah, and more time with the dogs. It's wonderful, right? It's awesome. You can switch over. Hey, hey, don't need to scratch. You okay? There you go. Good calf stretch. <laughs> they need a good groom. That's what they need. Hopefully, yeah, a couple of weeks of this lockdown, then we can go and get them groomed up nicely. Yeah, they're probably busted for that. Yeah, she's got back upstairs. She's had enough. I've told, I've told her not, but she's got that scratch and she's had enough. <laughs> and tabletop for our last one, team. Thank you very much for joining us. 20 weeks, that's an awesome milestone. Let's keep building the puddle. Let's look forward to 30, 40, and then 50, if that's what needs to happen through the, um, through the whole online stuff. I am happy to organise it for everyone. It is a whole lot of fun. It is a pleasure. I will see you all next week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.